She like my haircut. She like my smile. She want me wiped up. <laughs> That's that old school soldier boy, if you didn't know. Anyways, nobody cares. We got a battle here against my man, Aaron. Uh, Aaron has a pretty nice and powerful looking team, I can't lie. His team's looking nice and strong right there. You already know he has a powerful threat that does not need to be named, for the love of God. Um, but my team's looking pretty powerful, of course. Um, this is kind of a variant of my boy JJ's team. It's not really exactly the same, but it's very, very similar. Um, other than that, there's really not much else to say. I'm going to be starting a new LP tomorrow. Uh, well, I'm going to try and start it tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be uh, a continuation of Pokemon Obsidian, but it's going to be, uh, since he did, he the guy that made the game did a lot of new stuff, so he pretty much revamped the entire, um, the entire game, so I'm going to be playing it over again, and I think I'm in the game, so that should be fun. Um, so you guys should stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty good because the, uh, first Pokemon Obsidian playthrough did very well. So I'm sure this one will do just as well, uh, if not better because people love that game. But anyways, without further ado, let's hop right into this battle. So, uh, Deoxys D, Deoxys Defense Form is normally a lead and that's exactly what it's going to be on my team. So I'm going to lead off with my Deoxys Defense. Just looking at his team, I figured it'd be the best choice. He's going to lead off with his Choice Banded Diggersby. We all know how powerful this thing is. We all know how strong it is. He is going to go for the return, but not before I go for my Stealth Rocks. And I knew I'd be able to get off my Stealth Rocks, of course. Uh, he doesn't have any Rapid Spinners. He doesn't have any uh, Defoggers. So I am good right now. I am, you know, gravy to set up my Stealth Rocks. And he is going to hit me with that Choice Banded Return. Reach all the way back. Smack the fuck out of my Deoxys. But like I said, I knew I'd live. Wasn't too worried about that thing. So uh, he actually gets red carded out to his Heatran. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go for the taunting is how he does have leftovers. So I thought he might be, you know, like a bulky Heatran with Stealth Rocks and like Toxic and Toxic and stuff. I said Tox, Toxic. Anyways, I go for the taunt. He gets mad. He can't use Toxic. So um, uh, I am going to go for the Thunder Wave now. Now, the reason I went for Thunder Wave over Spikes is because I wanted to bring in my Azumarill next turn and I wanted to bring it in safely. I didn't want him to be faster than me, even though, you know, I am an Azumarill. So... I don't know what the hell moves this Heatran has. He could have Lava Plume, he could have Will-O-Wisp, he could have anything. So I didn't want to risk bringing in my Zoomerel before uh, I knew I'd be faster than this Heatran, which uh, isn't really a normal fear to have, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to bring in my Zoomerel now. Obviously, I can kill him in one hit with a Waterfall. And it's because I can kill him in one hit with a Waterfall that I'm not going to go for Waterfall. I'm going to go for Play Rough. Watch how I break it down. You might catch me playing rough, but you won't see me play around. I hit up that Rotom with the player rough, and it vanishes off the screen. It's gone. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, wait, wait for it. <laughs> uh, that that Rotom definitely wasn't defensive, because if it was defensive, he wouldn't have died to one single choice bending play rough. So I'm thinking he was either offensive or specially defensive. Specially defensive Rotom isn't really too common at the moment, though. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I could be. But uh, I'm going to go out to my Garchomp here. I didn't think he would go for a fire move. Uh, I actually thought he was going to go for the Stealth Rocks, but he actually ends up going for the Toxic, which isn't too bad. Uh, I'm only going to be staying in, you know, one or two turns with my Garchomp at a time. So uh, taking 6% here and there is not really a big deal to me. Now, here I messed up. I messed up huge here. This was so obvious, and I was kicking myself when it happened live. Because I've had this battle on my live stream, like I said. I switched out to my Azumarill, knowing that he would bring in his Trevenant. I don't know why I switched to Azumarill. I definitely should have switched to Bisharp there. Because I knew he was going to switch out predicting my Earthquake. So he brings in the Grass type, obviously, to take the Earthquake. That's, you know, that's totally logical. And I knew this. And I was like, what the? Why did I click Azumarill? I was frantically looking for a cancel button somewhere. But we were not on Pokemon Showdown, people. Let me tell you. But even on Pokemon Showdown, that shit doesn't work. So, um, I know he's probably going to try and burn my Azumarill, so I go out to my Garchomp here. I'm just trying to bring in my Bisharp safely, and I actually switch it in here because I know he's not going to try and burn my Bisharp because my Garchomp is on the field. So, uh, I bring out my Bisharp, and it looks like he was predicting me to do something else because uh, I thought he was going to stay in and go for the Horn Leech, but he actually switches out and goes to his Heatran, um, and that's really annoying. Uh, he probably predicted the Dragon-type move or the Fire Blast or something. Something other than me bringing in my Bisharp, clearly. Because I bring in my Bisharp and now there's a freaking Heatran sitting in front of my face. So I obviously got to switch out. I, I messed up my momentum completely. I completely messed up my entire momentum by not switching in to my Bisharp immediately like I should have. Uh, now he's going to be able to get off the Lava Plume on my Azumarill. Luckily for me, I don't get burned. I'm trying to catch his Trevenant with my Bisharp, and I should have switched to my Bisharp here, actually, but I was really scared. I was thinking that he might predict my switch to my Bisharp, 
and actually stay in and go for the lava plume so i actually went straight for the waterfall here and i think that was the safest possible move for me just in case obviously it's in his best interest to switch out because there isn't a zoomer right in front of his face but i didn't want to risk him predicting me to switch to my buy sharp because i need my buy sharp to take this thing out later i absolutely need it because this thing is going to be really annoying if i don't end up taking it out with my buy sharp so I'm just trying to save my bicep for as long as possible, which is why I didn't want to, you know, be reckless with it. But now I'm going to switch it to my Garchomp, thinking that he might want to go for the Willis again. If he wants to go for the Horn Leech, that's fine. He actually ends up going for the Leech Seed, though. Uh, and I think I'm gonna be going back to my buy sharp after this turn <laughs> And uh, there's a thing I didn't know I didn't know that buy sharp could one hit KO uh, Diggersby which you guys are gonna see me actually uh, Not realizing later on in the battle, but like I said, he does hit me with the leech seed and that, that's actually pretty annoying considering he um <laughs> considering he also has the toxic on me so i'm gonna be losing hp quite quickly but now i'm actually gonna switch to my buy sharp he switches out he's actually gonna switch to his diggers b and this is where i messed up because this is a perfect situation for me i just didn't know it <laughs> you need to know it i can easily one hit ko his diggers b from here i had no idea though uh a knockoff uh a knockoff with the you know he's holding an item so a knockoff would have been you know more powered up uh, but instead of staying in and going for the knockoff, I switch to my uh, my uh, Thunderous and I get O code because he predicts my switch and uses return. And I was like, no, nah. <laughs> that was so stupid of me. I definitely should have just stayed in and killed him off with the, with the knockoff. But I had no idea. I was completely ignorant to how powerful by chart was. But you guys are going to see I'm going to start to get my momentum back here. Uh, I actually go out to my Lucario just to bait him to switch out to his uh to his Trevenant here because I knew he would. I knew he'd probably predict the fighting type move or something and want to switch to his uh, Trevenant. So here I'm going to go for the knockoff and he's actually going to go out to his Heatran. And uh, this is easily going to be a two-hit KO. And it's pretty much right here that I realized that I would have definitely been able to kill that uh, that Diggersby with a single knockoff because of how much damage this does to the Heatran. Heatran is way more bulky <laughs> than Diggersby. And it does a clean like 70%. It's ridiculous how, how strong this thing is. Uh, and obviously I know that my red ranger is blue that doesn't need to be pointed out everybody can see that it was done on purpose Thank you, uh, but here that 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 pretty much made me realize how powerful uh, by sharp was when your opponent is holding an item so that's why I actually stay in here instead of switching out and I easily kill that diggers we went which I could have done last turn and I could have not uh, had to sacrifice my uh, my thunderous like that but like I said I had no idea now I know for uh, you know future reference and this is why um you know this is why experience is good because I didn't know that but the next time I battle a diggersby I'll know that uh, and that's how you get better pretty much it's all it's all about experience I just had no idea at the moment um, but he's actually gonna mega evolve and he is going to go for the uh, swords dance I believe and um, I don't know how I feel about that I was kind of scared but at the same time I wasn't really because I didn't think a plus two quick attack would kill me and it actually turns out that he didn't even go for quick attack so I'm actually glad that he didn't just in case he could have potentially killed me <laughs> I actually get off a ton of damage with the Aqua Jet before he kills me with a return. And this is going to allow me to be able to Mega Evolve with my Lucario and kill him with an Extreme Speed before he actually gets a chance to kill me with a Quick Attack. Uh, because Extreme Speed actually has more priority than Quick Attack. It has two instead of one. My Quick Attack has one. Um, if I didn't have... This is actually the wrong Lucario. This team is supposed to have the special Lucario. If I had the special Lucario, I might have gotten swept here. <laughs> Real talk. Not even joking, though. Uh, but I am able to take him out with the extreme speed now here I was expecting him to burn me which is why I actually just go straight for the bullet punch even though I should have gone for the swords dance like five times Oh, I did go for swords dance. Never mind <laughs> Anyways, I actually go for the swords dance. I thought I went for the bullet punch right away But I was actually expecting him to burn me and uh, the reason I went for the uh, Swords dance is because if he burned me I wanted to get up like, you know four Four swords dances even though you can only get up three. I wanted to get up four of them before I started attacking him because I wanted to make sure that I would do, you know, a significant amount of damage just in case he wanted to uh, pull these leech seed uh, citrus berry shenanigans. Um, but it doesn't seem to be working too well because he's actually going to go for the shadow claw and it's going to do a decent amount. Uh, Trevenant actually has pretty good attack. Uh, so in combination with the leech seed, that, that shadow claw is actually going to be a 2 at KO. But uh, I still have one more, uh, you know, one more hit to get off before I die. I'm going to get off the uh, nice and powerful bullet punch. And uh, it's going to do a clean, I don't know, 40%, 45%. But uh, he's not going to die, like I said. And he's going to get his HP back from the Citrus Berry. Uh, but he is going to kill me this turn, so he's not going to get back any HP from the uh, Shadow Claw. Uh, I mean, 
No, that didn't make sense. He's not going to get any HP back from the lead seed that he has on me currently. Uh, and he gets his Citrus Berry back. But like I said, uh, oh, wow. I didn't even notice that it activates on the same turn you get it back. Wow. Anyways, I'm free to bring up my Bite Sharp because he killed my Lucario, which is what I wanted him to do. Uh, so I'm free to use knockoff on anything that he brings out, and he's actually going to bring out his Greninja. Uh, I am not worried about Greninja, and I know this knockoff is still going to do a ton of damage despite him resisting it because Greninja doesn't have the best defense. And knockoff is extremely powerful in the hands of Bisharp. Trust me, look at that. Oh my god, it did a clean 65%. Uh, nah, maybe the 60 it doesn't really matter how much he was, but I know he's probably gonna uh, try not to attack me um, But it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna spam sucker punch because he's gonna have to attack me eventually if he switches out I'm gonna be able to kill his uh, Trevenant before he brings it in and uh, If he stays in and attacks me like I said, he'll probably have to eventually uh, He's trying to catch me slipping clearly. I'm just gonna keep going for sucker punch because I like I said I'm not gonna switch moves. There's no point um but uh, like I said, I just spam Sucker Punch until he attacks me and I take out his uh, Greninja there. And then his last Pokemon is this uh, Trevenant here. I mean, it was a good attempt, but I really didn't have a reason not to use Sucker Punch unless he just wanted to use Spikes the entire time. Um, but anyways, I'm going to take out his uh, Trevenant here with the knockoff. And that is going to be a good game. Wow. I actually had a really good time during this battle. Uh, my opponent seemed to be knowing what he was doing. Uh, so... That was a great battle. Bisharp is a monster. If you guys didn't know, now you know, you know. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to try and start that LP tomorrow. And uh, I hope you guys stay tuned for more Wi-Fi battles and such. And I'm going to try to... Um I'm going to try to live stream more often. I'm going to probably try to live stream tonight. Um, the day you guys are seeing this battle. Uh, February 3rd, 2014. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I am out of here. Bye.